This is your Tech News Briefing for Friday, March 3rd. I'm Zoe Thomas for The Wall Street Journal. At Investor Day, Tesla executives kept bringing up one particular goal. 20 million electric vehicles a year. Let's talk about how we get to 20 million. We want to go to 20 million cars a year. The electric car maker has a long-term ambition to sell 20 million vehicles a year. To do that, it has plans that include building new manufacturing facilities, getting involved in the production of battery cells, and of course, selling more cars worldwide. But Elon Musk and his electric vehicle company are facing growing competition from other automakers. And speaking to investors this week at its Austin area-based factory, the company offered few near-term details on how it plans to achieve this lofty, long-term ambition. Joining us from Texas to discuss what Tesla did say about its future and how investors are reacting is our Tesla reporter, Rebecca Elliott. Hi, Rebecca. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Zoe. Thanks for having me. So Tesla has this long-term goal of becoming the world's biggest car maker by volume. Rebecca, how does it plan on doing that? You're right. So Tesla, for a while now, has been aiming to sell 20 million vehicles a year by 2030. And for context, the company delivered around 1.3 million vehicles to customers last year. And if it were to reach this target, that really would be twice the volume that today's biggest car company does each year. So a really ambitious target. And Tesla this week spelled out for investors some of the ways it intends to cut costs, improve productivity, things like that on its path to achieving that and other goals. I can imagine a goal like that is going to cost the company a lot. Did they say how much it might cost and how they're going to pay for it? Yes, actually. The chief financial officer, Zach Kirkhorn, laid out his expectations for how much reaching these longer-term goals will cost. And he estimated that it would run from around $150 to $175 billion. And that includes what he estimated to be around $28 billion that the company has already spent. Maybe this total investment looks large. I actually think it's quite small relative to our ambitions. And if you look at our 2022 operating cash flows and you, you just say, well, let's assume some modest growth to that, maybe not all that much, but the ability to pay for this level of investment uh, from the forecast that we have is, is very achievable for us. Tesla has had problems in the past meeting their delivery goals. So is this a reasonable expectation for them or did they talk about getting over hurdles they might have faced in the past? Elon Musk, the company's CEO, spoke to the challenges, certainly, of scaling up this much, this quickly. Certainly, it is an extremely ambitious target. Executives were clear in saying they think it's achievable, but it does require the company to maintain a very fast pace of growth over the next several years. Price points seems to be an issue here. Teslas are not cheap cars, and the impact of price on demand was something Elon Musk acknowledged at the event. Let's take a listen. And we found that even small changes in the price have a big effect on demand, very big. So that was a good thing to learn. Musk says Tesla has learned that. Did he talk about any plans to bring down costs or introduce a lower-priced vehicle? Tesla did not go into detail there. They kind of hinted at its next generation vehicle at various points during the presentation. But I think that was a big disappointment for Wall Street coming out of the event. Shares traded down on Thursday morning after. And Musk at the event said essentially when asked about the next generation vehicle, now's not the time, (laughs) Tesla would have a separate product event about that. Because Tesla only has, what, four vehicle models at the moment? It has four passenger vehicles. It also has a semi-trailer truck that it started delivering last year. And the long-awaited Cybertruck pickup is expected to hit the market later this year. 
But all of those models are priced above $40,000 in the U.S. And so investors have been looking for the company to enter a lower price point, which would expand the number of people who could potentially buy a Tesla, right? Not everybody can afford a new vehicle that costs more than 40000 Right. It can be a tall order for a lot of people. One of the other frontiers that they're entering is in the production of materials for battery cells, for the batteries that power electric cars. Can you tell us a bit about their plans to get into that? Tesla is obviously not the only company really investing in making electric vehicles right now. There is a lot of competition in the US, in China, in Europe, and that has created a whole lot of demand, particularly for the materials that go into the battery cells that power electric vehicles. Tesla, for a long time, has vertically integrated, meaning done more in-house than many auto manufacturers. And the battery supply chain is no exception. The company has been working to make its own battery cells and also this week spoke to investments that it's making further up the supply chain. It broke ground on a lithium refinery in Texas and also is working to build a battery materials facility near its factory here. Do the analysts that you spoke to think that some of these goals are feasible or that there's any reason to doubt that Tesla can do this? Look, selling 20 million vehicles a year is extremely ambitious. There is no precedent for that. And so there is a healthy amount of skepticism about the company's ability to achieve that goal. That being said, I think it's important to keep in mind that Tesla over the years has achieved a lot of things that many people thought were impossible. All right, that's our Tesla reporter, Rebecca Elliott. Rebecca, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. And that's it for Tech News Briefing this week. TNB's producer is Julie Chang. We had production assistance from Zoe Culkin. Our supervising producer is Melanie Roy. Our executive producer is Chris Sinsley. And I'm your host, Zoe Thomas. Thanks for listening, and have a great weekend.